in the sun-blasted Arabian Peninsula, a land of savage scarcity whose Bedouin tribes were locked in a constant state of tribal war. Warfare and conflict were the grim realities of a dangerous time. In a wilderness punished by the elements and bereft of water, rivalry over a single well could provoke a blood feud for generations. Without the tribe's protection, no one could endure. Scattered across the peninsula were countless factions, all embroiled in bitter struggles, each defending its precious grazing lands, trade routes, and most importantly, its wells. Each clan had its own separate gods and totems, to water and wind, fire and night. They were kept in the caravan town of Mecca, in a shrine of wood, stone and cloth. It was called the Kaaba, the Arabic word for cube. Pre-Islamic Arabs worshipped a number of spirits, and they were generally nature-oriented spirits, sometimes associated with natural, natural features like trees or rocks or springs. And uh, the Kaaba in Mecca was one of a number of these sanctuaries centered around a particular cluster of deities. It was said the Hebrew patriarch, Abraham himself, built the Kaaba centuries before, and that a sacred black stone it held within had fallen from the sky. In these turbulent times, the Kaaba provided a rare place of peace. Only here would the Bedouin submit to a temporary truce before returning to their conflicts of the open sands. The Kaaba made Mecca a vibrant center for trade. Here were found Arabian incense, exotic perfumes and Indian spices, Chinese silks and Egyptian linens. But perhaps the greatest treasure to be found at Mecca was the rich mixture of cultures. There were people who came through town who had all kinds of interesting experiences to relate to faraway places. The local religion was mixed. There were Christians, there were Jews, and there were also the Arabs of the desert who followed an animist type of religion. Muhammad's world was a center of trade, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean linking the aging empires of Byzantium and Persia to the great bazaars of India and China. 